How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing an unboxing and Blu-ray review of Neverland, the sci-fi original movie miniseries right here. This is essentially a prequel to Sir James Matthew Barry's Peter Pan that we all know and love. It essentially gives you an origin backstory of Peter before he was Peter Pan and Hook before he was Hook and the Lost Boys and everything like that. And I think it does an excellent job in that. And it's a very imaginative movie and I really enjoy it. I don't want to give too much away on this one, but I'm going to give you just a little quick synopsis. Basically, there's these orbs that if you hit the orb, you'll be transported to Neverland, which is another planet in another galaxy. And in Neverland, you don't age, and there's all kinds of crazy things going on. There's Native Americans, there's all these other people who were brought there for hitting the orb. And if you hit the orb hard enough, you also bring things surrounding you as well. Depending on how hard you hit it is how great the length of distance that stuff that's brought with you. So if you hit it really hard, there's going to be like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet of stuff that's brought with you. Tables, chairs, other people will be sucked into Neverland with you. And there's two orbs, there's one also in Neverland, so if you hit it there, you're going to be brought back to where you originally came from. There's Native Americans in Neverland, there's pirates in Neverland, and of course now you have the Lost Boys and Hook and Peter. And the Hook and the Lost Boys accidentally get taken there, and they're trying to escape out of there. And Peter finds the orb and goes looking for them, and they all try to get away, but all kinds of things happen, twists and turns. And you also have Bonnie, a captain pirate right there, played by Anna Frias. She did an excellent job. Great casting for this whole movie. You have Rissa Iffens, who plays Hook. Charlie Rowe as Peter. And you have Bob Haskins, who is reprising his role as Smee. He was also Smee in Steven Spielberg's Hook as well, which was a really fun movie with Robin Williams. If you enjoy fantasy movies, I highly recommend this one. This was really good. I got really engulfed into it. It's separated into two parts on the Blu-ray. You can watch the first part and then the second part. I will say I enjoyed the first part a little bit more than the second part, but overall, a very fun and imaginative movie. And if, you're, like I said, if you're a fan of fantasy movies, I highly recommend this one. And if you like the other sci-fi original movies like Ten Man and Alice, you'll definitely enjoy this one. I prefer this one way over Ten Man and Alice. Never land right here. And this is being released by RHI Entertainment and Vivendi Entertainment on March 13th. And I really love the cover. I love the gator too. The gators in this are just awesome. It has a nice uh, gatefold open up cover right there. A little Velcro. And look at that. Look at that gator right there. Really awesome. I love the glossy feel to the cover as well. And here's the back there. There's Bob Haskins as Smee. And Kira Knightley plays the voice of Tinkerbell in this as well. Then you have Peter and Hook and then Bonnie. But now I'm going to show you a more in-depth look at this Blu-ray release. So let's check it out. And here we go. Here's the, the Blu-ray for Neverland. Sci-fi original movie. Includes three limited edition postcards. A little sticker right there. And I really like the look of this as well. Journey back to where it all began. You can see the crocodile right there. And the ship. Very nice. And it goes over some of the actors right there. Reese Evans, Anna Frail, Charlie Rose Peter, Bob Hoskins, and Kira Knightley as the voice of Tinkerbell. And the front slipcover actually opens up right there with a Velcro. And you can see some nice scenes from the movie right there. Really cool. Some of the artwork. Very nice. Look at that. Very aesthetically appealing. I like the gold foil look all around it as well. And there's the spine right there. Neverland. And then here's the back right here. Before Peter became Pan, before Hook became Captain, they discovered Neverland. And there's Bob Hoskins down there. And special features are commentary by writer-director Nick Willing, uh, the story behind the story, cast interviews, green screen to scene, uh, journey into Neverland art gallery, and Neverland access all areas. Very nice. And here we go. Here's the Blu-ray case itself, which is the same as the front cover of the slipcover. And the back is also the same as well. And again, there's a hole punched through my barcode right here. And that's just because this is a uh, review copy. And if you buy this in the stores, it's not going to have the hole punched out. But again, it's the same right here as the back of the slipcover. And let's open this up. And then here you go. You have the art cards and then the disc. And I like the artwork on the disc as well. With Peter and Tinkerbell. Very nice and very fantasy-esque. And I'll show you the art cards as well. And these are all postcards right here. You can fill it out and you can use them if you'd like to. I'm just going to keep them in the Blu-ray case itself. Uh, kind of part of the whole package right there. Peter. Hook. Very cool, very brooding looking right there. And Bonnie. So there you go. That's what the inside looks like with the disc artwork and the three postcards. And the postcards have a nice glossy feel to them as well. 
And the slipcover has a very nice glossy feel. It has a nice sheen to it as well. So there you go. There is the Blu-ray of Neverland. Very cool slipcover as well that opens up. really like that added bonus. So there you go. There's my more in-depth look at this Blu-ray release of Neverland. If you see Neverland, definitely let me know what you think of it. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.